Hello fellow engineers and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program. This time I'll be using my engineering know-how to revisit the bridge and get her flying properly. We should be able to resume a saved game. How exciting. All right, so we have Trust Me. Let's load this. Oh no, this is my rocket work. <laughs> it's so janky. It's so janky. But to be fair, I think this was actually a better bridge, a better UK Space Agency funded bridge. So what I might do, I might keep this one, sort of turn off the rockets, and we, we'll use this as our base. <laughs> Look how wonky it is. We'll use this as our starter, just to see if we can improve and turn it into a proper plane. Because if you remember my last plane episode, if you have a little look at any of the YouTube comments on there, you'll see I missed one fatal thing. Actually, we'll, we'll try and find that level first. Toilet? Why do I have a toilet? Okay, I need to test this quickly. One second, I'll be right back. Oh my god, we actually have a toilet. It flies better than all my rockets. <laughs> oh, that didn't last long. Wow, that was explosive diarrhea. Anyway, let's, let's delete that. Where was I? I was looking for my bridge. That's right. There it is, the bridgest plane ever. What am I on about with these names? So here was our bridge complete with the inspiring shadow, shall we say. So yeah, I, I flew this and it didn't go that well. Uh, and it wasn't until I read the comments that I realized I'd made a fatal error in my design. So stupidly, I assumed these wings had like have flaps built in. Uh, apparently not. Apparently we need to install them ourselves. They're called like Aerilon? Elev yeah, Elevons and there was another one. Anyway, definitely Elevons. Doesn't really fit the wing, unless I put like a crap ton on. Are there any others? Here you go, this is called a big S one. There we go, I think we want one of them. Uh, so not entirely sure how these work. Do I just bung them on like that? Is that good? Is that gonna move? And guys, just quickly, if you are enjoying the video, please make sure you boost that like button. Really helps out with the algorithm and all that for jazz. Now I think first thing I should turn the symmetry on, that's this button. So then I'll get it on both wings. All right, it's one there. I think maybe we'll copy that. One more there, maybe, maybe some. <laughs> I don't know if they're meant to be clipping so much. Uh, the other thing I stupidly forgot as well was like tail fins. Now some of these do come pre-installed with flaps, like the actual tail fin itself. Uh, but now I know how these work, I might just do my own sort of thing. So if we add those on. They're delta wings. They're definitely facing the wrong way. That I am sure of. Right, so we'll bung them. I might actually move them with the move tool. See, I know all the tools. Sorted. Right, now this might actually fly. I don't know if you're meant to like... Oh, there you go. Pitch, your roll, deploy. I don't know what... <laughs> what does your mean? Does your mean left and right? I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what, we'll do our test run to start. It's definitely the first Blaine that I've ever made. Uh, so we'll give that a go first, and then if that doesn't seem to work, we'll, we'll turn on and off the different control things. Right, let's give it a launch. All right, the Blaine is sat on the runway pretty well. Oh, look, look. Oh, ooh, okay, so it seems to... <laughs> look at my little wheels go. <laughs> I'm just testing all my flaps, and it gives you my little wheels at the back. Um, Right, let's, let's launch this. What is it? base. Right, so that's our booster going. Oh crap. Oh god. I forgot how hard this was to steer. I'm going to press space again. Oh, I shouldn't have pressed space again. <laughs> what happened? Uh, we lost a few engines on the left hand side. So I'm going to guess as we take off, we're going to be turning right. No, left. We'll be turning one direction, I'm sure. Uh, right, we've got some speed now. We're heading towards the other end of the runway. So I'm going to pull up. Um, okay, we're going to head towards the mountains and we're going to use that as a ramp and that will launch us into the sky, I'm sure. Oh, here we go, here we go. Here we go. Oh no, here we don't go. Uh, okay, hang on, hang on. Right, no one died there. I pressed pause just in time. We're going to revert flight. Right, and this time I will not touch the engines until this thing has run out. Oh, shit, you know. Okay, I've lost all... <laughs> we're now a glider. Right, in that case, it might be time to lose the booster. Right, booster is gone. We're very nose heavy though. I might scale up my front wheel just so we're like leaning back a bit because that can't help us take off surely. But anyway, engines a go, throttle up and let's see if we pick up more speed this time. 
Oh god, Bob is really unhappy. Look at that sad face. <laughs> like, why is there turbulence when we haven't even started moving yet? Meanwhile, Jeb is loving life. He's been in this situation before. He trusts me. <gasps> Here we go. We're taking off. We're taking off. And I'm in control. Wait. Why are you flipping that way? Oh, look, look. No. I sort of have it. I think my controls are backwards. Pause, pause, pause. They didn't die. They didn't die. Don't, don't read that. Don't read that. It was fine. We're going to grab this front wheel and we're going to gale her up a bit. There we go. And also, I think I need to head over to the old flaps. Things definitely weren't right. I'm pretty sure these ones are just roll, is it? Yeah, so these ones are the main wings. I'm pretty sure they're just roll. I might be completely wrong, but we'll see. Uh, these ones at the back, they do our pitch. So that's our up and downness. And then this big mofo, the tail fin, that will do our yaw. Okay, so sat on the runway, that looks way better. Just the fact we're sort of level. Let's give it a go. Throttle up. Yeah, this is looking good. This is looking good. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pull up because we're going really wonky. Okay, only our back flaps are pulling up, and it's not allowing us to pull up. I don't think. Ooh, no. <laughs> We did a barrel roll. Oh, we're doing bullies of barrel rolls. Okay. All right, so now my flat wings, I've turned the yaw off all of them and they're just pitch and roll. And this one is yaw and roll. I'm not entirely sure what the controls are. I've only been doing Wazda. There might be Q and E involved. Maybe that's what roll is. Ah, oh, idiot. I need to be using E. So E does my roll. A and D does just my yaw, and W, uh, okay. We might need to go back to the drawing board again, but for now, we'll just see if this is any better. And then I think I've got the hang of sort of how planes work. We'll amend our design, and I will make it much better. I mean, pretty low bar I set myself, but uh, hey ho. All right, ready? Once we get the speed, here we go. We're so straight, ready? Pull up, pull up. Come on game, pull up, pull up. Oh, the light, ah, oh, we hit the light, bollocks. Uh, oh god. Anyway, I think that's enough proof to show you I know what's going on now. Alright, so I loaded this bad boy up. This was one I just made in my spare time. Just just, just threw a few things together. Definitely didn't just download this from the workshop. Uh, I just wanted to see, firstly, if my controls were right. And it seems like they were. Seems we've got your on the tail fins and pitch and roll on those. I just sort of wanted to work out if it was the pilot's fault or the build's fault of the last one. Oh, look at that. Blue rocket. Oh, shit me. That's sensitive. Uh, we've lost a bit of a bit of wing. OK, we're going straight now. I'm just not going to touch left and right. Oh, God, it's not going to pull up. There you go. She's in the air. Right. Turns out it may have been pilot error. <laughs> I might try that with a stock plane rather than a workshop one. Just so I'm 100% confident what the error is. Right, so we got this bad boy, the Ares 3A. And despite the NASA flag in the background, uh, this is a UK Space Agency special. We've got the front winglet that does pitch. These also just do pitch. Oh, there's no roll on this one. And they do yaw. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, so those middle ones do pitch. And these outer ones do roll. Maybe that's what we have to do. Uh, we'll give this a quick launch and see if it controls any better. Moments later. Oh, crap in hell. Holy crap, this is... I need to turn on, like, SAS. Oh, if I turn off SAS, we're flying through the worst turbulence of your life. If I turn it on, it fixes everything. Maybe that's... all that was wrong. Okay, so maybe I want to go with this sort of solution then, the, the dual controls. Roll on the outer ones and pitch on the middle. Because this thing handles like a dream. All right, come on, under the bridge, under the bridge. Oh, we went over it, we went over it. We'll do another fly pass, it'll be fine. <laughs> All right, here we go. This is lined up pretty well. Oh, no, no, it isn't. I've cocked up, I've cocked up. Ah! <laughs> oh, my bridge blew up. I may have gone past it too fast. My shockwave set it off. All right, here we go. Oh, we can't, we can't go under. We cannot go under. It's blown up again. <laughs> right, sod this. It's not worth it. I'm building a bridge now. All right, so here we are, our trust me spaceship. I'm going to turn this into a plane and a plane that we can steer and hopefully circumnavigate the globe. So first off, goodbye rockets. I'm going to get rid of the decouplers. I want to grab some fuel tanks. I think I want to stick them there. We're going to put our bridge the other way around this time. So we're going to keep copying this forward. And uh, I'm not sure why the uh, <laughs> why the orientation moved, but uh, it's something we're going to have to live with. Now we just need like some sort of nose cone. And yeah, a bit of that. 
I think we might even rotate this. I'm going to try and do things as sensibly as I can. Looks like a bloody seagull or something. <laughs> and then obviously we need a beak for our seagull. Yes, yeah, so now we're going into aerodynamics and we're going to put a nose cone on. Okay, that actually looks kind of cool. So if it looks cool, I'm pretty sure it's going to work. Uh, now we just need some wingage. I think me, I'm going to do like a sort of build your own wing. Uh, what do we go with? Really, is that what you think symmetrical is, game? <laughs> Why? Okay, we're going to have to do this the old fashioned way, which is do it yourself. But it's going to be fine. It's going to be fine. If we bung that there and then we'll copy that. All right, not entirely sure how this is going to work, but uh, we'll use our move tool up here. Grab that and then move it that way. Yeah, that looks decent. And then I think we just need to rotate it and then we'll, we'll move it back into place. Nice. And so now we've made a square bit of wing, which we can add to, I think. So if I grab all of those and copy. Yes. <laughs> oh, God. I wish it didn't take so long to build. I really wish it didn't take so long. I am extremely concerned that these aren't like even attached to each other. That's usually what this game likes to do to me. Lure me into a full sense of security thinking, yeah, you've built it right, Matt. And then just go full on architect like doesn't work how we said it would. One more on the end. Yes. <laughs> We've nearly got a wing. And then we just copy this one down. All right, that's a pretty good wing if I say so myself. We're just going to wang some airy, Ellie von, airy, blonde. These things. Okay, that's kind of cool. And we'll do the outside ones being roll only. The inside ones being pitch only. As per the plane that actually flew. I'm very concerned as I'm mousing over this. I definitely don't think they're attached. <laughs> right, decent. Uh, so now we just need some engines, which I'm going to stick with the Goliath turbofan engine. I know these are super efficient. Yeah, maybe we'll do like what those other planes sort of do. They have like two on the top at the back. <laughs> it looks like a per It kind of looks like a bloody A10, doesn't it? With a bridge stuck to the back of it. All right, so our control capsule is inside that fuel tank. I don't think that will be an issue, but we will have to see. Uh, I'm going to need tail fins and all that stuff. Oh, God, really? It actually wants to <laughs> sort it then. We're keeping that at the back. And then from there, we're going to put our, our tail fin and our delta wings. Oh, they are not the right side. <laughs> what one did I pick? Was it? Was it that one? There we go. Lovely. And then some elevons on the back of there. And uh, I think we need some sort of tail spike thing a tail connector there we go lovely finally we just need some wheels we cannot forget the wheels like one sort of there and another one the same but on the other side we'll add some at the end of the bridge one at the front in the middle and then i feel like our wings probably need some uh, they're gonna have to be a bit longer though so okay that might be okay and then we'll copy that to the other side as well cool i'm gonna add another stage because we do have a parachute on this one <laughs> Not sure how useful that's going to be. Uh, and let's see what happens. Are these wings going to stay connected? I honestly I no do not know. As I'm not too confident, this is going to be, please trust me. <laughs> and we're not going to space. We're going around the globe. Oh, I nearly forgot as well. I nearly forgot. Our bloody UK Space Agency flag is buried. All right, so as this is going to be a really big deal for the UK Space Agency, they've gone, they've gone all out on the advertising. Uh, but circumnavigating the globe, it's, it's a big, it's a bloody big deal. So uh, we're hoping this is going to bring brand value to our sponsors and should give us some budget to afford very exciting projects in the future. Let's launch. It's taking a bloody long time to load. I know that much. All right, here we go. Here we go. Yes. Oh, it's sort of all attached. Oh, wow, it looks freaking awesome, to be fair. I am well proud of that. <laughs> all right, so I'm going to turn on the engines and raise up the throttle. We can hear it making noise. Yeah, engine's definitely at full throttle. I'm trying to turn right, but um, not going too well. Oh God, okay, we're going for a grass takeoff. Bit easier on the old joints, but I think it'll be worth it. Uh, but in the meantime, we're slowly picking up speed. What are we on, 56 meters a second? So we might be using the mountain to uh, help us into the air this time, just like a, just like a aircraft carrier. Oh, oh, we got a bit of air. Oh God, we lost a bit of trust. We lost a bit of trust. Oh God, we lost a lot of something. Oh crap. We lost frames. We definitely lost frame rate. We're still going. We are still going. We don't have a nice. Oh my God, it's flying. It's flapping like a bird. Oh no, it's, it's, it's doomed. 
It is doomed. Ah. On the plus side, Mr. Bill Kerman down there completely survived. Um, I think we might need a bit more thrust. I went over my calculations here and I figured the key element we're missing is thrust. Thrust! So what I'm thinking, we just grab a few more of these and just share them out a bit. All right, she's looted. She's done a little bunny hop because she is excited to go in the air. All right, let's turn the engines on, throttle up, and uh, hopefully the six pack of engines underneath will uh, get us moving. I feel like I can't move left or right though. Oh God, careful, it looks lumpy there. Are you sure you know what you're doing, Bill? <laughs> Remember, he's flying this, not me. This is all Bill. Uh, maybe SAS should go on as well. Right, picking up speed. We're at 70 meters a second. It's making a lot more noise. Very, very loud. <laughs> 102. Oh, oh, we're in the air, we're in the air. Oh no, we lost a wing. <laughs> we're losing all of our wings. Oh, shit. <laughs> Hmm. So what if we get rid of all this nonsense and instead we'll turn our bridge into a wing? I'm not gonna lie, I think the UK Space Agency may have done it again. I don't like to use the P word, but this is looking almost perfect. And I'm gonna name this after an acronym also beginning with P. The perfect Elevon Nautical Investigatory Service. Cool, let's give her a launch. Oh. <laughs> Uh, we're a bit arse heavy. We might need some wheels at the back. Okay, we're all good. We'll turn the throttle up. Here you go. The nose is going down as as intended. And we it, it's pulling it's pulling left. I really cannot steer. Oh god. Careful wings. Careful end of wings. Oh. <laughs> okay, it's sort of working. We're using the grass runway again. Oh no, we're really we're really heading left. Whee! Where are you going? All right, we're just getting a different a different angle of approach. All right, here we go. Now now we're actually going for launch. Now, I didn't want to launch in that direction because there's, there's weather, there's weather over there. So instead we're launching this direction on our grass runway, uh, but we are picking up speed. No, <laughs> why are you doing this game? Why? Right, this time we're going to pick up speed. And when we get to about 50, I'm going to pull the elevons up. All right, come on plane, take off. You know you want to. You know you want to, plane. Come on. Come on. Oh, come on, plane. Why are we going in a big circle? <laughs> right, I feel like we might need a bit more steering on this. So I'm going to grab this tail fin. And we're actually going to bung that on the ends. It could help. It could help. I might even bung a wheel just on the back. Maybe just a small landing gear. Yeah, much better. Right. I was also thinking as well, maybe just to give us a bit more lift, I could add some more wings. Right, there she is, looking magnificent. So we'll turn the engines on, rottle up. I feel like my extra tails aren't doing anything. Like I'm turning right, like you can see that one moving slightly. That one definitely isn't. Whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, cha change, change of uh, attack. That storm came back. You can see it over there in the distance. Uh, we're gonna launch in this direction. Uh, safety first and all that. Don't wanna fly straight into a storm. Oh, I can feel she wants to take off. I'm gonna slightly hit back. Oh, nearly. We've nearly got enough speed. Here we go. Here we go. We're up. We are actually up. Oh, God. We're up. It's flying. It is flying. Right. Very scared to touch anything. Oh, no. Our speed is falling like anything. <laughs> Controls are proper jank. Oh, no. It's, it's going down. It's definitely going down. Does that count as a bridge flying? Oh, are we going to circumnavigate the globe? <laughs> oh, wow. And we landed. We landed perfectly. I'm going to give it another go. This time I'll add a few more engines. So throttle up and let's go. I think we're actually going to do it this time. Don't know why they are pointing up. I am not telling it to do anything. And they're pointing down. All right, that's better. Seems to have fixed itself. All right, come on. I'm not going to hit any direction unless I think my wing's going to hit that. Oh God, yeah, I'm going to go left a bit. Okay, I can't, I can't steer. There you go, we got it, we got it. No, that storm's back, that storm is back. We're heading this direction. Oh no, we've lost a wing. Oh God, everything's exploding. Uh, refer that one to launch. Right, this is looking much better. I'm going to pull up because we've started turning. <gasps> SAS, I forgot SAS. Okay, that's better, that's better. That is better. We seem to be gaining speed pretty well as well. I'm going to try and retract these. That's one. Need to do the front one. There you go. Retract. This is really hard to do while steering. I'll tell you that. 
And now just the back one. Retract. <gasps> oh my god. We're actually flying. We're flying a bridge. We're actually flying a bridge. I'm a bit too scared to try turning. Uh, so we're just going to go straight. The storm definitely cleared from this direction since our last takeoff. We're going to try and get a bit higher and hopefully the air will be a bit thinner. And we should be able to go faster. We're currently picking up speed ish. We're sitting very much around 76, 78 meters a second. Uh, but hopefully as we go higher, we will get faster. And then we are going to circumnavigate the globe. You all thought I was a madman. You, you thought, thought it couldn't, couldn't be done. done. All right, this is actually going fantastically. I really want to try steering. I haven't touched left or right at all yet. Oh, there you go. I did a bit of a tweak. Yes, and we've leveled out. The steering works. How's our fuel looking? Fuel's good. I can still see the runway, so I'm not sure the fuel to circumference of Earth ratio. Whether we're going to quite make it around the Earth. I'm still trying to get higher, though. What are we at? Two and a half thousand meters. Our speed isn't picking up at all, really, unfortunately. But as long as I keep going higher, hopefully thinner air means less resistance. All right, that is a hell of a sight. Look at the bridge. She's flying. I decided to head back towards the airport. I wanted to do a sort of flyby. I thought it might be quite cool. <laughs> yeah, and then we'll circumnavigate the globe. I swear. I promise. I promise. All right, the old yaw steering is a bit... Well, it's, it's non-existent, basically. <laughs> I've been holding right this entire time, and we've nearly done a full circle left. But look at that. Flyby of the airport. Absolutely insane. I never thought... <laughs> I never thought I'd get a bridge to fly this well, if I'm honest. I've outdone myself. Uh, it does like doing big circles, though. That's the only thing. Really struggling to pull up anymore. 3,900 meters. It is It is slowly, slowly going up. We've still got a shit ton of fuel, though. So I might see you in a bit. And we'll see how far around the globe we made it. All right, so I've now been flying for 23 in-game minutes. If you look at the top left. <laughs> uh, fuel hasn't gone down very far. The airfield is long gone. I've sort of found a new way to turn as well. We don't use left and right your at all. Just literally does nothing. So I'm sort of just pivoting left and right with the roll function. Uh, I also, I did the warp up to times four for a bit. A uh, little bit, little bit ropey, as you could see there. <laughs> does work a bit. The old bridge goes a bit flat and controls are very sensitive. Oh God, why are we turning that direction? Oh no, we're going in the wrong direction now, game. <laughs> That's it. Head back this way. Head back this way. Here we go. Here we go. We're going straight again. We're going straight again. Uh, but yeah, so far so good. I will check in in a bit. Hello, this is your captain speaking. We're cruising at an altitude of 5,000 feet. Current flight time is around 45 minutes. If you look out to your right window, you'll see a large mountain. This is Mount uh, just, just newly discovered by myself just now. Uh, and if you look out your left window, you'll see some more mountains. And ladies and gentlemen, I hope you're enjoying the flight. Don't forget to check out the in-flight entertainment. Uh, the Real Silver Engineer YouTube channel has been downloaded and all of the videos are there to watch. Make sure you check out Surgeon Simulator. It was, it was a great video, great video. Anyway, I'll leave you to enjoy the rest of your flight. Current time is 12.54 p.m. Local time is just gone midnight. On behalf of the UK Space Agency, I'd like to wish you all a fantastic holiday. And I hope they will fly with us again soon. Right, we're an hour in. Looks like we've got just over 50% of our fuel left. We're traveling on average 60 meters a second. I think it's time to do a bit of maths and just see how far we'll get. Hey Google, what's the circumference of Kerbin? Here is information from less than B greater than Kerbal less than B greater than space program wiki. Right, reading this whilst trying not to crash. Bollocks. Uh, 600,000 meters. So if I'm going 60 meters a second on average in the right direction. <laughs> there we go. There we go. We're back. We're back in the right direction now. We're back in the right direction. So yeah, so I'm going 60 meters a second. I've got an hour worth of fuel left. Oh, bollocks. I'm going the wrong direction again. I'm trying to do maths while steering. So that would mean in an hour, I'm doing 60 meters a second times however many seconds are in an hour, which is 3,600, is it? So 3,600 times 60. So 216,000, and that's in an hour. So in two hours, times that by two, that's 
fifty-ish hundred thousand. The circumference was only six hundred thousand, and if I get my average speed up above sixty, which I'm clearly doing. <laughs> I'm clearly flying in a straight line over 60 meters a second. Essentially, if we round, because I haven't, I haven't really used half my fuel. So if we round everything up a little bit, I reckon we can easily do 600,000 meters. Which means we've made our bridge circumnavigate the globe. We've actually done it. We did it. Ah, <laughs> oh, this is why I love theory. <laughs> anyway, guys, thank you very much for joining. If you like that video, please push that like button. Uh, and thank you very much for joining. Peace, love, and circumnavigatory bridges. And I'll catch you next time. Bye, guys.